。好，现在就请准备哈，郑淑丽老师哈，我们要稍微介绍一下，哎，就不是谁啊，不要，那个郑淑丽老师的这个大师级哦，哦，这个就未来还是我讲的哈。可以来准备的哈，哎，那个，文艺术家，我这个演讲者简介哈，从事网络装置艺术、社交界面以及制片等创作，他的网络装置艺术已被沃克艺术中心，呃，东京 NTT， 这两集的作品，因为我讲要准备嘛，啊，古根汉博物馆所委托，古汉的是黑胡子。讲不归波不过来的，<笑>我们每个大概可能十分钟左右，讲一个<笑> ten minutes for everyone to tell a beautiful story， 还给十五，不够十。<笑>我们要请这个郑郑淑伟老师来跟我们报告一下，之后我们可能有点时间可以 Q and A 哈，来，哎、欸，可以可以用这个这个，这个，我用这个吗？可以。I was very impressed with uh, what CC has done in terms of working with uh, musicians here. And uh, uh, <laughs> I think maybe I should speak in Chinese. Uh, anyway, um, you can go. Okay, okay, okay. Um, because I, 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 创作几乎都是呃在国外产生，那因为最近也有呃常常被国内邀请呃有有回来这做一些作品，那我我今天的题目是叫 Common s Tales， 那事实上是我、哦、我们呃 It's like a whole series of work I have been doing since uh two thousand one， 那在二零零一年的时候呢，事实上是那个台北的那个 Acer 就是 Acer。A 是鸿基，鸿基啊，因为现在好像跟很多那个台湾电器公司打交，电机公司打交道这样子，所以呃那时候呃鸿基有一个那个 ASUS 的呃呃艺术数位呃 Digital Art Center， 然后呢，他就允许我们我我们做一个 project， 呃那时候我有两个 partner， 一个是 Army m e d a l s based in London and Vienna， and then the other one is Yuki Koshikada， also、uh, based in Tokyo。So three of us became like a curator， decide to create a kind of public、uh, network、uh, working space。So we propose this project called Kingdom of Piracy。So like nobody can beat me in terms of the the piracy kingdom <laughs>。So we are the kingdom。嗯，那时候我想。呃，最有趣的时候是二零零一年提出来给这个宏基的 proposal， 那那时候他们也蛮大胆的，只是那时候他不敢那个中文不敢译译，我就说我我想做这个一个 kingdom of piracy， that was like kind of the beginning of quite a lot of debate about cultural about intellectual property in terms of the rights and then you know particularly I think with the commission、uh, to make a project in Taiwan and it's probably my first commission in Taiwan。So I was thinking about doing a project that can re really reflect、uh, the nature of the digital culture, which is really piracy-based in a way, you know. But I guess what you know this morning we actually did talk a lot about piracy issues, you know, the, in terms of the 著作财产权的 the intellectual right piracy and the CC Commons. But、uh, again, our CC our our、uh, kingdom of piracy doesn't mean to promote piracy, but it is actually.、Um, Reaffirmation of that the digital copying and you know、uh, the copying and whatever remix is actually part of the nature of the digital uh, uh, production. So, um, 最最有趣的时候，那时候那个因为台湾对盗版就是特别敏感，然后后来就不敢把这个，因为 Kingdom of Piracy in theory 就是一个盗版王国的一个呃词语，后来又翻又翻成中文以后呢。呃，还是不敢把它翻成那个呃《盗版王国》这个作品，后来就变成翻成了一个《泰勒西王国》，就是这样子的。呃，好玩的是，那个这个作品二零零一年被 commission 以后，我们大概花了有呃半个月，就是呃差不多有一年的时间筹备这样一个作品。等到那个 two thousand two， 
right on the you know right before the Asia Digital Culture Center supposed to have the Art Future Festival, and that was the time Taiwan was supposed to get into the uh, was having something with the WTO, and there was a really, really big crackdown on piracy in Taiwan. So at that time, they actually canceled the show. Um, so this exhibition actually was never realized um, in Taiwan. So pretty much after 2000, in 2002, it was actually premiered at the Arts Electronica in Lint. And then from there, uh, we kind of you know, go on until now, we're still making project under the Kingdom of Piracy um, label in a way. <laughs> so anyway, so the, the major interface is this kind of like the open sea idea, like you know, within the sea, we keep building projects, like we keep commission or work with different artists or doing different projects that created, you know, like every every link is a different different thing and uh, actually would be a, a good one to check out a few things. Um, there's um, one particular project probably refer to uh, a lot of the music scene. Maybe I, I just introduced this particular project that I make in 2003 uh, called Burn. And um, it, it's actually about that kind of, you know, sort of like, uh, basically it was a commission from the the FAT, uh, it's a media center at Liverpool, uh, UK, and so legally we have to have all these like, I agree, you know, if you agree that uh, by submitting your piece that you are sharing and all that, but the, you know, I make a kind of interesting uh, interesting thing, it's like if you choose as it, you know, it just goes to burn, baby burn, so you actually have to go back, so you sort of have to agree. <laughs> um, the project is actually, uh, you know, I, I just introduced quickly all the interface. It's a very simple interface that people uh, can upload music. You know, you can browse whatever music file that you can upload your music, and then um, you can also uh, download the music. Actually, um, I kind of color coded the music, so like there's all these different color category. So your music can be like, if you choose your music, it's juice or baby, baby blue or you know whatever color so then you have all this music that you can listen to the green you know classic green music and uh, you can click and you actually you know all these are kind of uh, what public have uploaded and after this you can actually pull it and then you can burn a CD after you pull all the music together you know so um, this is kind of the early project in the ways like in 2003 and actually, I think last year or 2005, this piece actually shown, was shown in the gallery here. And at that time, I had a chance to make a, a kind of burn music party with a lot of uh, <coughs> musicians here. Lin Chang and Mombasa also joined. We did a, a kind of a nightclub uh, music play with this piece also. So anyway, so I'm going to talk about quite a few examples of, of my work um, that some of them are more public project or more uh, that, that's not possible. I just started, no. No, no, listen, I figured out, I started at 4.15, I'm gonna finish at 4.30. Who's next? No, I, I started at 4.15. I'm a very organized person. Don't so, confuse me now. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't confuse me. Anyway, so to jump start, um, uh, to jump through um, a lot of notes, um, interesting, uh, when we start doing Kingdom of Piracy and to, uh, until 2000, uh, we started doing a project called Commons Tale, which is actually uh, set up as a blog. And actually that's, more of like the beginning of the a lot of um, links. Um, really, more like a lot of uh, the, the beginning of a lot of you know CC comments and I have I have known Professor Lassie and then we start talking about these. But anyway, so we actually also start kind of wanting to discuss about the, some of the issues of creative commons. Uh, one of the thing is that we feel like. In a way, like this concept of open and free, uh, it seems like uh, that 
you know, just like someone uh, this morning talked about, it's like if we give away everything, everybody can just share it and there's no problem. However, we do feel that there is so-called this public commons, you know, like when you stop making up all this database or when you start have things that you're sharing with, then you create this kind of public commons idea. Within the public commons idea, that you start have to thinking about how you self-organizing to keep this pool of you know, materials, goods, or immaterials. I think there's also these issues of material and material in a way, you know, in the way like when we talk about the digital content, it's no problem in terms of copy, paste, and then it's called, you know, but then there's also issues about comments in terms of material. And so we start making this block and invited, hmm, it's the wrong thing. <laughs> Um, uh, what was interesting on, on the Commons Tail site, uh, in terms of blog, is we invited about different field people, also different artists, and uh, start talking about different kind of Commons. And on, on this blog, actually, it does include uh, quite a lot of. Uh, uh, particular, you know, bio commons, science commons, uh, uh, speech commons, Wi-Fi commons, and um, you know, if you have time, you might want to just go through a lot of uh, these uh, com contribution, Bagua, including the big money and philosophy, and uh, you know, a lot of these issues we've been talking about. There's also two links: one to Lawrence Lexis. Um, home site, home page, and want to launch Leon's uh, home page, um, another of the uh, very interesting, I think, um, I want to particularly mention in terms of comments because I think, in a way, I, I feel like the debate today has entered into a, a sort of, uh, it's not just a simply to say like, oh, share the comments, it actually become like, you know, the most have talked about in terms of different culture, different region, you actually, figure out a different way of using it, and, and that's the part of it. You know, I, I want to avoid this concept of like a utopia idea that we can all just share and be happy that that idea. So with this, we also did another project called uh, Prenons. Um, actually, this is a 12-hour event that happened in London in 2006. And this project is like a 12-hour uh, project. It's totally about speech commons. We actually invite people to talk about, to come and join a kind of conference talk, and it's actually 12 hours, five hours, two interludes, which include uh, inviting musicians and do a kind of, uh, I think if you know about the PD patches, and you know, using the PD patches to allow different sound uh, to come in and to replay. At the same time, we also include in cooking pots and different things like that. So these are the, the kind of projects I would uh, sometimes make. Um, just to quickly to say that um, I have another group based in London that we actually do a project like, uh, we're doing project uh, about sort of, uh, again, it's all about commons in a way, but this is one about like Wi-Fi commons, you know, so it's called like uh, Rich Air 2030, for example. This one is all about how do we share the, the wireless, you know, so I mean, at the moment, I think we are quite aware of the public Wi-Fi issues, and so this is a project that we use use for little girls uh, to promote uh, how to release your uh, Wi-Fi into the public air arena. And another project that just launched was called Porta 2030, and actually um, is invited at the was invited to show, and it's uh, actually currently on exhibition at the. Uh, Taipei Museum of Fine Arts, and uh, it was first uh, shown in London 2006, and this is called Porta 2030. I have kind of started a group called Take 2030 based in London, and a lot of these projects actually set up uh, the 2030 as the year when the internet crashed, so you sort of have to build from the beginning, and because of that, then you actually have to do a lot of DIY, you have to uh, do a lot of peer-to-peer -peer open source uh, sharing and all that kind of thing. So um, this particular project I really would like to share with you. Um, it's um, kind of imagine what in year 2030, what would happen, um, and 
in, in terms of internet crash. So we start building this kind of uh, sort of DIY portal pack, and with this portal pack, it become a communication tool. The, the one thing is great about this project for me is that it was the first time to actually organize uh, Taiwan's uh, open source group uh, and uh, Taiwan's designer to actually try to, uh, uh, we set up this kind of really huge table. I can probably show a few photos quickly. Um, and just so, you know, this is the, the exhibition and the, uh, exhibition at the museum uh, with a big working table and actually setting up so the open source uh, programmer, the geeks, and the designer, they actually all come to this table every Saturday and sort of uh, practice, uh, sort of try to reinvent uh, the, the piece in a way. So in terms of design the portal pack, in terms of the uh, source code of the, the Ninos programming or the portal pack, uh, it's all being rewritten by the Taiwan open source groups and designer here. Um, I was very happy to uh, to also find that you know in terms of like cell organization, cell organization, they they've been able to uh, build a wiki and um, making a lot of project. And if you can sort of see, uh, you know, because we talk about a lot about music, you know, but for example, uh, this particular project, for example, like. Uh, this was the design from the London designer when we make the portal pack and the design sketch here. And in a way, in the, the students here in Taiwan, the designer students here in Taiwan, they start also um, doing um, their own sort of portal pack design. And uh, there's quite a lot of different sketches going on and uh, you know maybe create quite a different feedback happening. So um, for me, I, Oh, okay, I have. I, I, I stop here. Exactly 15 minutes. Um, but um, basically, um, I just want to emphasize that uh, because I think uh, a lot of talk about creating commons today has been a lot of these artists of, of sort of like uh, uh, how do you license yourself or how do you register yourself? How do you encode yourself in a way? Uh, I'm, I want to particularly. Uh, think about the possibility of how do we share this public commons idea in terms of like the public speech, the public Wi-Fi, and uh, by sharing the kind of public commons uh, in a way also create a kind of social community and social environment which is pretty much what the direction of the web, you know, application, a lot of programming language is going these days. So I end here exactly. Thanks.